guys, Baltimax here. I'm making a quick video about the difference between Harlem Bling Solid and their hollow rope chains. Now, I've bought three solid chains from them. Uh, one of them's not in this video. Uh, and then one hollow. I wanted to get a hollow just to see what the difference is and if you can really tell. And looking at this right now on the video, um, pretty damn hard to tell if you're familiar with my videos you probably know which one it is if you don't I'll let you guess okay I'll tell you it's the one in the middle it's a 3.2 millimeter hollow and let's look at it versus this four millimeter solid one okay now it does have a quite a good shine factor to it, even though the diamond cuts, it doesn't have diamond cuts on the outer edge. Instead, it kind of has these flat rings that gives it that shine factor, because it actually shines quite a bit. Versus, I have another one that's a smooth hollow rope bracelet, doesn't have much shine at all. So I'm kind of happy about that. But, um... God, it weighs next to nothing. It's like four grams, where this four millimeter is around 20 something grams. I don't remember exactly. So, but um, they look great. You know, if you want to save your money um, and not get a solid one, then get a hollow one. But if you do, I would definitely get it over three millimeters. The ones that are under, they don't tend to last very long. They break super easily. Um, and even with the ones over three millimeters, you gotta be extra careful with it. I don't know if I would recommend wearing it every day. Um, but if you do, just take really good care of it. So, as you can see though, it looks really good. It has a great shine factor to it. I'll throw up the five millimeter as well. So, you mean, from a distance, you barely can tell. I got a little fuzzy there. But yeah, you can barely tell, guys. And all three look great. So I love stacking ropes. I love silver ones. I love gold ones. I love the prison cut ones. One of my favorite types of chains or bracelets out there. So, but um, I would recommend it. You know, I really would. So um, I think you get more a better price per gold per gram uh, when you get the solid ones but um, like I said it's quite a bit cheaper though going with the hollow so um, if you guys have any questions just let me know in the comments and uh, thanks again for watching make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video oh and one last thing if you want to look at the class That's what the class looks like on the smaller ones. I'm not sure if the larger millimeter hollow ones have, you know, this more, the pear-shaped lobster class. I'm not sure, the teardrop, whatever you want to call it, but um, that's what that looks like. So, Alright, well thanks again guys. Have a great rest of your day and night. I'll see you on the next one. Later.